Greetings, folks. This is Chris. Let's skip this unboxing. Ah, behold, the Taurus TH9. All right. Well, 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 well. Who's the pretty girl then? This is. I think this is a really good looking handgun, don't you? And Taurus has been putting out some very nice looking products, but some pretty good quality products for their class. This is an outstanding pistol. I put about 200 rounds through it and it shot flawlessly. This is a 9mm, 17 round, double action, single action, semi-automatic pistol. And it's a full size pistol, as you can see in my hand right here. And it has memory dimples right here on both sides. Ambi memory dimples. How about that, yo's? But it feels really good in the hand. My hands are probably medium to largish. And uh, these memory dimples are in just the perfect place for me to index. I don't remember the length, but this is about a seven and a half inch long pistol and about six inches long here. Uh, it's 5.98. I do remember that. And it's 28 ounces, so it's very much a full size pistol. Now let's get some close up looks at this. Now let's get a look at the finish. Taurus is one of those manufacturers that thankfully isn't trying to match the manufacturing material standards of say Glock and Sig Sauer. So you'll see that the finish here, it's not necessarily the greatest finish. It's sort of a matte finish, sort of a Parkerized finish, and it's not as resilient say as Tenefer or Steel Arminite or any of those other finishes on the more expensive pistols. But I gotta believe that Taurus is doing that on purpose so that uh, anyone can afford their handguns. Because the more you do, the more refining you do with a product, the more expensive it becomes. So, and I'm not a spokesman for Taurus, but I gotta believe that they're doing that on purpose so that more people can have their products. And I think that that is a great idea and I applaud them. Now, most of your gun snobs probably wouldn't go with something like this because, again, it's a different class. It's not as expensive, and that's what they're going for so that they can be impressive at the range. But if you are not one of those people and you want a decent semi-automatic handgun and you don't want to break the bank to get it, this would be a very good quality option. And in its class, I would say that the Taurus TH9 is one of the best. Now let's get more close-up looks at it. As you can see, there's that memory dimple and the takedown is just like a Glock here. And here's the ambidextrous slide catch slash side release right here. Ambidextrous safety. And this is also a decocker. So you've got your hammer all the way back. It decocks. And you can carry this pistol in a few different ways. You can carry this cocked and locked. So let's say your hammer's back, you got a round chambered. You can carry it just like that, cocked and locked. Switch your safety off. It switches off very easy. Or you can carry it double action only with the safety on. Now me, I would probably carry this half cocked just like that without the safety on so that the hammer is not touching the firing pin because it's in half cock if I were to carry it. And I'm probably not gonna carry this, but if I were to, that's probably how I'd carry it right like that. The sights are okay. Uh, the sights are also ambidextrous. You can see that the front sight is pretty well visible. But for me, because my eyesight's not the greatest in the world, I will probably end up throwing a fiber optic front sight on up here just to help me a little bit more because my eyesight's not the greatest. And it has an Ambi Mag release, which releases one of the two Mechgar magazines that it comes with. 17 rounders, Metgar, made in Italy. So good quality magazine, good choice for Taurus on that one. And uh, the trigger is also Ambi. And this is a very easy racker, by the way. Look at this. This is just very easy. And it's kind of smooth. When you get up close to it here, you can see that it has a double captive spring and guide rod in there. And the barrel right here 
you can tell that it's a different production quality than a Glock or a Smith & Wesson or something like that. But that's one of the things that's going to keep the cost down. Now, this pistol, for its class, I would compare this to, say, the SAR B6. You guys have seen my SAR B6 pistol. And you guys know how I feel about SAR Salmaz and the localized inflammation they've been giving me for years. But dare I say it, this pistol is much more fun to shoot. This pistol is a hoot. Uh, that takes nothing away from Sarsomaz, of course. That SAR B6 is an outstanding handgun, but this one's just a little better. Now, I would say that this gun is much easier to use than the SAR B6, and that this is an easier racker. Look at this. That's just these two fingers. Very smooth racking. It has much more real estate on the slide than the SAR B6, which is following the CZ format and has a shorter slide much less real estate. And its trigger pull, I would say, is about as good as the SAR B6. Let's demonstrate the trigger pull, shall we? But before we do, a public service announcement. Trigger anxiety and you. One, the guns in these productions are always unloaded. Two, we are aware of the standard gun safety rules. Three, for demonstration purposes, you may see my finger on the trigger. And four, it is impossible for you to be shot through a video, so worry not. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's give this an easy rack. There you go. So I would say that this is probably about a 10 or 11 pound double action trigger pull. Now keep your eye on the hammer here. It's about a 10 pound double action single action pull. Pretty stout. The first trigger pull on a double action single action pistol should be stout. Now the single action trigger pull, let's just go ahead and say you've got a round chambered here. You've got a little bit of take up right here and it stops right there, but go any further and there's the snap. And the reset for you reset queens, boy, get ready for this girls, you reset queens. Pretty soon they're gonna have reset queen story hour in our schools. Whoa, let's do it again. That's pretty close. That's pretty close and very crisp. One click. So I'm not one of those reset queens. I think what makes a good trigger is that it's a consistent trigger. That's what makes it a good trigger. And the way you practice with your handgun. And the decocker, of course, works very well. So you've got options with this, and it's a pretty feature-rich pistol. You've got the Picatinny rail up here for lights and lasers, and a semi-roomy trigger guard. You know, if you've got big, fat gloves, you may not have as easy a time getting your finger in there. But one of the most remarkable and noteworthy things about this pistol is the grip and the grip texturing. The ergonomics of this pistol, the way this grip feels in your hands, and how balanced this handgun feels in your hands, especially when fully loaded. It is really comfortable. It feels good in the hand, and this grip texturing is very functional, but not so aggressive that you're uncomfortable shooting or carrying this. So not too rough, but just rough enough. But this, folks, is the Taurus TH9, and I must say that this is one of the best values for its class out there. So give it a look. But before we get on with the rest of the range footage, I'd like to ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe. If you like this video, you should see some of my others. You should hit that like, share, and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can be alerted when I'm coming out with more videos. I don't come out with videos very often, but when I do, it's a national holiday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and get alerted when I'm coming out with more stuff. And I definitely appreciate you guys watching. And again, my name is Chris. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of this screen as we speak right now. That's to improper at gmail.com. Right, and I will answer you, provided you're going to be polite about whatever it is you have to say, and if I've got the time. Thank you again for watching, folks. God bless these United States of America, and keep on protecting your family, yourself, your country, its flag, and its honor. It's the patriotic thing to do, which makes it the right thing to do.